Hello, everyone. Welcome to Truck City, the place where trucks are building an amazing theme park. We will put up first a giant water slide. Today, we're going to build the swimming pool. But what kind of vehicle do we need? Let's open the garage. It looks like the pieces of an excavator. Let's take them out and put them together. First, the turret, on which we put the cabin that will pilot the excavator. Then, the frame, made of the tensioner and the wheels. Now, let's put the caterpillar with it. The excavator will be able to drive on any kind of ground. Finally, we add the shovel, which is made of a spire, an arm, and a bucket. The excavator will be able to dig in any ground. Here we are. The excavator is all set up. Look at what we can do with it. Awesome. Okay, let's go to the construction site to build the swimming pool. Let's start by digging a big hole here. The excavator takes the soil and puts it in the dump truck. swimming pool is going to be so big. Let's dig a little bit more. A little bit more. Now, the dump truck is full. He can carry away the soil. Look, another dump truck. It brings the slabs.
Let's start by putting the slabs on the floor. Then, on the wall. Finally, we put the edges. Perfect. Last thing to do is to fill up the swimming pool with water. But we will do that next time. City, the place where trucks are building an amazing theme park. Today, we have to fill a pool with water. But what vehicle do we need? Let's open the garage door. It looks like the pieces of a tanker. Let's take them all out and put them together. We'll start with the front part of the vehicle and the platform. Next, we put on the bars to attach the wheels. Right, like that. And now we take the wheels that we're going to put on each side of the truck. Now, let's put the tank in place. It is huge. Next, let's put on the trap door that will allow the tank to hold the water, as well as the rear lights and signals. Can't forget the front lights and signals. Let's also put on the little radiators. All we have left to do is put on the security bars. And there, the tanker is built. Let's get started. Here we go. We can finally leave to find some water. Let's look together for a place where the truck can draw water correctly. It seems that the tanker has found the perfect place to draw water.
To retrieve the water, the tanker truck uses a long tube. That's it. The tanker is full and ready to leave. Now we can go to the pool they want filled. The truck gets in place correctly in order to be able to unload all the water it contains. We have to get the tube back out to pour out the water and fill the whole pool. Here we go! There, the pool is full. Now they have to build the water slide, but we will do that next time. Thanks everyone, and see you soon for new adventures at Truck City. The trucks are building an amazing theme park. Today we are going to prepare all the pieces of a giant slide, but what vehicle do we need? Let's open the garage door. It looks like pieces of a dump truck. Let's take out all the pieces and put them together. We start with the chassis, onto which we put the bars for attaching the wheels. And now, we take the wheels that are going to be put on each side of the truck. Right, like that. Next, we put on the whole front part of the truck, composed of the cockpit and the driver compartment. Now we add the bucket that allows the truck to store objects. Can't forget the door in case everything falls out of the truck. We'll be done soon. All that's left is to put on the front and rear signal lights. And the security bars. There, the dump truck is all built. Let's start it up and get going. The dump truck will be able to help us transport all the pieces of the slide to the pool. We're here. Let's start loading all the pieces of the slide right away.
That's it. The truck is entirely full. Oh, but it seems that there are still pieces of the slide left that aren't in the truck. What are we going to do? Ah, it seems as though there is something else in the garage. Of course, it's another dump truck. Let's take it out so that it can help the other dump truck. We finish loading the pieces of the slide onto the second dump truck. Perfect. There's nothing left. The second dump truck can go. We bring the trucks to the side of the pool. There. Nothing left to do but build the slide. But we'll do that next time. Thanks everyone and see you soon. Hello everyone. Welcome to Truck City, the place where trucks are building an amazing theme park. Today we're going to build a giant slide. But what vehicle do we need? A crane, of course. But what vehicle do we need to bring the crane to the pool? Let's open the garage door. Oh, it looks like a big flatbed truck. Let's take it out. Luckily, the truck is already put together. We can go find the crane without delay. Let's start it up and get going. Thanks to its big truck bed, the flatbed truck is often used for special convoys. It's able to take care of huge cargo that can't be supported by most other trucks. We're here. Ah, the crane seems to be separated into several pieces. We'll put them all together when we're by the side of the pool. Let's load all the parts of the crane on the flatbed truck. That's it. The whole crane is stored on the bed. We will be able to get back on the road. Once the crane is assembled, we'll be able to put together the giant slide. We're here. Let's start by unloading all the parts of the crane. Here we go. First of all, we put down the base. Next, the tower. Onto which we put the cabin. Next comes the jib boom and the counterweight. They keep the crane from getting unbalanced. They balance the weight of the crane when we add the jib. Here comes the jib on which we hang the lift held by a pulley. Finally, we place the braces and aim them. And there, the crane is totally put together. Now we can get out all the pieces of the slide thanks to the crane. Right, like that. 
we lay the foundation that will hold the slide. We lay the foundations. These are the pillars which will support the ladder and the slide. Next, we install the different parts of the ladder leading to the top of the slide. Finally, all that's left to do is create the slide. And here's the cherry on the cake. Let's not forget the fasteners that will support the slide tubes. There, the giant slide is done. Why not try it out? Let's try it. Woohoo! Whoa! Here we go. Hello everyone, welcome to Truck City, the place where trucks are building an amazing theme park. Today we're going to build a carousel, but what vehicle do we need? Let's open the garage door. Oh, it's the flatbed truck. Let's take it out. Let's look for the different pieces of the carousel. Here we go. First of all, we have to build the central piece of the carousel. Here are the pieces of the carousel. Let's put each piece on the truck. That's it. Now we'll get on the road. This place seems like the perfect place to build the carousel. Let's stop the truck and let the crane put the pieces together. We place the base, then the central pivot that will allow the modules to turn. Finally, the pillars and the capital that goes on top. There, the merry-go-round is set up. Now the truck has to go look for the merry-go-round vehicles that are hidden in Truck City. Can you help me look for them? 
Oh, I think we've already found one of them near the trees. It's a fire truck. Let's put it on the flatbed truck. Let's continue our search. Ah, there's the second. It's the ambulance. Let's put it next to the fire truck. Let's get back on the road. It seems like we see another vehicle. Of course, it's the police car. Let's put it next to the other vehicles. Great, there are only two more modules to find. Oh, look, the dump truck and the tractor. Let's bring them onto the truck as well. There, all the vehicles are on the truck. Now we can go toward the carousel. Let's install the different vehicles on the carousel. And there we go. The carousel is finished. Let's get it working quickly. It works very well. Hello everyone, welcome to Truck City, the place where trucks are building an amazing theme park. Today, we're going to build a big ball pit, but what vehicle do we need? Let's open the garage door. Oh, it looks like a dump truck. Let's take it out. It will let us take all the balls to the pit. But where are the balls? Whoa! Look! They're falling from the sky! And it's full of them! Look! The dump truck is full! Now we can go to the pit. Let's go! The pieces of the pit are already in place at the amusement park, but they're in pieces. We'll have to put them together. We're here. We begin by inflating the pit where we can pour out all the balls later. Next, we put the big slide in place. First of all, we install the main piece. Then the ladder to get up to the slide. And finally, the edges so that no one falls. There, the slide is done. All that's left is to empty all the balls into the pit.
For this, the dumper will tip over backward to allow all the balls to fall. Like that. Here we go. Whoa! There are really a lot of them. And in all colors. Just a few more balls and... That's it! The ball pit is totally full. And should we try it? Here we go! Let's climb the ladder! Bingo! Be very careful! Ready? Go! Hello everyone! Welcome to Truck City! the place where trucks are building an amazing theme park. Today we're going to build a playground, but what vehicle do we need? Let's open the garage door. Oh, it looks like the pieces of a flatbed truck. Let's take them all out and put them together. Here we go. Let's start with the base of the vehicle, constituting the front part and the platform. We're going to link them together with this little hub. Nice! Let's fit the bars to attach the wheel. Right, like that. Now we take the wheels we're going to put on each side of the truck. We put the signal lights on the back of the vehicle. Now let's put on the truck bed that will allow us to transport all the pieces of the playground. And the signal lights on the front. Finally, we put the security bars and the revolving lights on the roof of the truck to indicate that it's an exceptional convoy. And there, the flatbed truck is totally built. Let's start it up, and here we go. Let's look together for all the pieces that will allow us to build the playground. We're here! Whoa! There really are a lot of them! Let's start right away! The flatbed truck is fully loaded, but there are still many pieces left. Is there another vehicle in the garage? Yes! What luck! It's a dump truck! Let's bring it near the flatbed truck quickly to help it finish loading everything.
There, we're putting the last pieces on. Perfect. Now we can go to the amusement park with our two loaded trucks. here. This place is perfect for building a playground. Let's start by taking out all the pieces that will form the structure of the playground. First, we put the foundation in place. These are the pillars that will allow the playground to be very resilient. Next, we install the different pieces that will form the walkway in the playground. Then, the roofs. Now, the slides. the net, and finally the different shapes, the red circle, the green square, the yellow triangle, and the blue star. And there, the playground is totally built. It's magnificent. Let's have a look around. Let's go through there. Whoa! It's cool! There are so many different ways! Welcome to Truck City, the place where trucks are building an amazing theme park. Today, we're going to build a train. Let's go directly to the station that was just built. Oh, look! It looks like all the pieces of the train are already there. We just have to put them together. Here we go. Let's start with the front of the train. It's the engine. Made of a bogey, the main piece for the train to go forward, and the conductor's cabin, which is attached to the boiler. Next, let's bring in the different parts of the train. These are the carriages. We also call them cars. They will be able to bring passengers all over the amusement park. We also put smaller cars in the back which can transport toys, for example. And so that the whole train is linked together correctly, we need couplers which we put between each car. One here. One there. Then one here. And finally another there. And there, the train is entirely built. Now we only have to put it on the rails.
Perfect. Oh, but the train can't get started because it's missing rails. Is there a vehicle big enough in the garage to bring the rails to the station? Of course, the flatbed truck. Let's bring it out. That's exactly what we need to transport the rails. Let's load all these rails onto the bed of the truck. There, now we can get on the road toward the station. The truck will help us to put down all the rails to allow the train to move forward. We're here. The truck positions itself next to the train. Let's start up the train. And here we go. Let's start to unload the rails one by one. Like that. Great. Look how fast the truck goes. The journey will be over quickly at this pace. Ah. Now the train is going through the amusement park. There's the playground. Oh, and then the ball pit. There's the carousel. And of course, the giant water slide.
there, the train has now made the tour of Truck City. Now we can easily visit the amusement park.